Writing is a hundred percent practice rather than hundred percent skill. Simply, if you want to be a writer, don't delay. Start writing. Start with great reading first. It will prompt you to the habits of writing. Now, how to inculcate that passion of writing by reading habits? I am going to discuss the points here. Hello friends, I am Ardhan Dude and you are watching ADC English Literature. You may read this video lecture as how to use literature to develop comprehension and writing skills in you. Or even you can read this particular video lecture as an anatomy of writing. This is the consumer world of information technology. Obviously, there has been much criticism during the past two decades of the teaching of English literature in our schools and colleges. The earlier teaching of English was characterized largely by type of instruction, which tried to inspire pupils through their contact with the classics of our language and to awaken a kind of a um, awareness an enduring love of both poetry, prose or any sort of writing piece. The work being in large part interpretational and somewhat inspirational in nature. And that's the way to begin. But only being inspired does not guarantee you to be a writer. Most of us find it difficult to begin writing. The problem lies in our approach to reading. Now this is quite confusing. I am telling you how to write but I am prompting you towards reading. Yes, you can make this easier by thinking about the topic either through brainstorming. That is with several people in a group giving their ideas as it strikes them or we can put them down on a sheet of paper as they occur to us. But all this is easier to say than done in practice. First, think practically, why do we write? That question in you may lead you towards understanding the very concept or the very ideology or the very stages or stairs by which you can learn how to write. Now it's all begin with the conception that like other things writing is also a sort of practice that you have to do regularly with proper norms, with proper ideology, with proper categories. The desire for self-expression is at the bottom of most writing. People look out over the world of nature and things. They receive impressions. They want to pass these on to others. That impulse. They write sketches of travel or the out of doors. People observe the actions of men and women and children about them. They are impressed by the interplay of motives, causes and results. Their busy minds weave new waves of action. And they write, each in his own kind. And that is the world of literature. People watch the wheel of the world pass by in the quiet of the firelight study. They philosophize on life as they see it. Their books appear as pertinent essays on men and things. Above truth, of accuracy, of just evolution inspires much of the weighty writing of the world. This man wants to do justice to another character. He writes a biography. That man wishes to correct false ideas about great movements of the past. He writes a history. Till another weighs and estimates some literary works. He writes criticism. 
So different sort of writings, different approaches and it meets with the word, sweet flow of words. And it may be that solely a passion for spreading knowledge inspires the writing of a book. Great dictionary, great encyclopedias, compendiums and reference books in general are monuments to the preserving endeavor and scholarship of their perspective writers. Every book is the reaction of an original heart and mind upon we meet conditions. In all great books, this reaction produces a kind of a philosophy, a philosophy of life. In its makeup, every book also bears the artistic sense of the author. Now, people who write may be grouped into two big classes. I have already shared different lectures on that topic. Those who look without and write and those who look within and write. In other words, we have the objective and subjective approaches in treating material. Sometimes an author makes use of the both of these techniques. Now we get the idea how something is written from the author's point of view. To elaborate that key, we have to mine the text. We have to understand the preambles of writing by reading other texts. If you have any passion to be a writer, you have to make a good choices of reading text. And that's very simple. Take the books, mine it, it will lead you write. But if you have the first choice how to select a text, that needs a category of analysis. Literature transmits information about the cultural life of the country. Literature offers a wide variety of languages. The literary text is one of the few contexts where different varieties of language can be read and used simultaneously. Literature is interesting as it can be interpreted in many different ways. These will facilitate oral discussion and the exchange of opinions among the learners, among the readers. Literature can be a source of pleasure, a stimulus towards our personal development. So, to be a writer, I simply advise you to read literature. Now, what sort of literature should be our choices? You might say that it all depends upon your taste. But I say even your taste can be varied by your own understanding, by your own approaches. So, it is important that we select suitable text for use in our study desk. There is not much point choosing text of great stylistic complexity for the early stages of literature learning. An analysis of style at any level should be based on the linguistic features that the readers are already familiar with. Now remember, random literary extracts may create problems, especially if they are taken out of their original context. So I advise you follow a kind of a syllabus or make a list which is easier, which is harder or which is hardest. Then take step by step approaches. So the choice is yours. One way to motivate ourselves is to relate the text to other areas of study, such as history, geography, and philosophy. Other interesting activities include translating the literary extract into our own mother tongue. If you are not native English speaker like me, watching film adaptations, attending theater performances based on the work will be a ready conclusion 
of your approaches you know if you see something interested just follow these steps as with any text we use in the reading habits a literary text benefits from setting up pre-reading and post-reading activities now you take a text just complicate your reading with simple task it will be very handy towards building up you as a writer pre-reading at this stage we still don't know what the literary text is about in the typical social atmosphere the social media buzz or the word of mouth in the campus is enough to motivate us to read a text facebook youtube quora or the other social networks may include you to the topic of the text and encourage you to make predictions about it as a self learner possible activities may include in varied ways now before you take the book for reading doing research about the author's life and work using reference books can be a very way of making your path cement now start a conversation between readers friends about the topic just make a gossip or just try to listen the gossiping words now in the internet just spend a few task like flashcards reading pictures trailers reading or trailers watching to focus the topic before you reading the text now if there is an favorable atmosphere express the hypothesis on the contents of the text even you can have a stock of vocabulary that you will meet there now while you are reading if the reader read the text and compare the contents with the predictions that you have already made in your previous page as you are reading the text don't ignore exercises said by the teacher or you have made them yourself which might vary from typical comprehension questions to activities which require more detailed information on the internet you can get such task on any classical text or follow the questions at quora sites you can get worksheets on information and the information transfer type of questions drawing a picture filling in a grid true or false statements comprehensions spot the differences multiple choice questions sequencing summarizing the text information gap jigsaw reading or completing the open ended statements these are the ways these are the type of question that you can make easily from the internet resources now at the post reading level the information that we have gathered from the text can be used to develop other skills by simple a very simplest to the simple task i divide them in three categories make a oral discussion write compositions role play and drama now first i say acting you can act out the story of the literary text if it is a narrative text for example you should write dialogue before you perform the story i say in a group platform if you are staying in a hostel just make a group of your friends and try to make a type of a dialogue writing now you can take photos and write down the dialogues of the characters in the literary text in a group activity the members of the group who are taking part in this kind of activity should be the characters as you have read from the story suppose you are reading hamlet 
now make a list of characters and make a list of character along with the parallel friends who are acting them and start writing a dialogue make a short piece out of it you can collect information about the author and the works using the traditional format of a magazine you can also invent interviews with different authors and attach pictures as well it is a kind of project work you can meet them several in your way of learning literature till to the mature level so why not try your hand at video and radio recording with music special effects after these initial activities you have to undertake serious job of writing now after these pre hand exercises you will be ready to write but writing need a methodology suppose you are reading a text you can put down your thoughts as they come to us in a random manner as you see in this diagram relax your first draft does not have to be perfect you will have time to revise later here are tips for overcoming first draft jitters let's your pre writing guide you i have already shown you that you have already written a pre reading or pre writing exercises so focus on your ideas and how to organize them write rapidly and use your natural writing voices now you have to understand the various parts and methodology in your way of understanding a text like every other things there is a beginning there is a middle process there is an end process in the beginning try to capture the readers attention and state your focus somebody you must think that somebody is going to read what you are going to write in the middle provide your main points and details and in the end brings the writing to a thoughtful close now while writing your beginning paragraph you must understand that somebody will listen or somebody will read your text so capture your readers attention is the key state your focus capturing the readers attention is the key but how to start start with a question start with a surprising fact start with a quotation start with an anecdote so these are the way how to pull your audience towards you so you need your approach is correct accordingly but it all depends upon you and what type of writing you are going now while writing your middle paragraph each middle paragraph presents one main point or the reason the reason has been stated in the middle why you are writing here is how to write each middle paragraph i will give you a ready made conclusion start with a topic sentence and that topic sentence is to be elaborated use transition to connect the ideas that you provide at the ending sentences while you are writing in middle paragraphs you have to connect those middle paragraphs with a kind of transition methodology now how can you bridge those paragraphs or ideas in time references in ideas references with comparison with contrast with emphasis even you can add any information even clarify that point so these are the little bit transitional method so your within and between paragraphs this kind of transitions in the are the keys by which you connect those paragraphs and make a comprehension of totality 
So within paragraphs, transitions connect supporting details. Between paragraphs, transitions connect with main ideas. So the transition and connection is the very key in the middle way. While writing your ending paragraphs, do the following three things very important. Once again, start reading the opening. It will make a restate your focus. What you have started with, summarize the main points or reasons. Or even you can leave the readers with something to think about. If you are writing a kind of persuasive essay, you can include a call to action there. But all the methodologies that I have stated, somewhere, you cannot run the wheels as speedily as I am saying. If you are having troubles getting started, try some of these techniques that I make for you. Start by writing about your topic non-stop for 5 minutes. This is a kind of exercise. This is called free writing. Write as if you are talking with your topic to friends. If you are not speedy with your writing, talk about your topic into a mobile phone recorder and play it back. And then write down what you like. After you finish your first draft, set it aside for a little, for a little while before beginning the next step in the process revising. And the same thing should be repeated and again. By that way, you can make your comprehension or your writing flow like that of a sweet flow of river. So the process is that you can exercise a speedy writing habits by non-stop writing. Suppose there is a way when you talk about something. You cannot write instantly. Suppose you are thinking a bit and you are writing not so faster. In between your thinking and in writing and writing, there is some points you must miss. I say whatever is the thought process is yours can be copied to your writing. If not 100%, try to make it at least 90%. That can be possible if your you practice what you think readily you can write. So this is the exercise that you can make. Even what I say that mobile recording. Randomly it speaks something about a topic and just record it and then replay that record and copy the text what you have said. There are plenty of software available where you can transfer your uh, speech into text. And by that way, you will be surprised to see that how great you have spoken. Possibly you, are, you will not be able to make a beautiful sentences, hours, efforts of writing, if not recorded that way. So simply, I say, start a writing, start a writing with a rightful approach of reading. And with the rightful approach of reading, gradually and gradually with proper scientific approach of reading and the methodology of writing that I have stated, you can make a successful writing job or you can be a successful writer by that way. Somehow you have to begin with something and that's the way to beginning. So this is the short lecture that I have delivered on the topic of writing with the process of reading and the writing habits as well as reading habits and its practices and how you can be a great writer. This video lecture might be helpful in making yourself ready for the job that you are best with. You have the potentiality of a great writer. Just a little bit of practice and inspiration is needed. I have tried my best to inspire you in that category. Like, share, comment and obviously subscribe to my channel 
if you like this post bye bye thank you